Well done to him. Fantastic achievement. Maxim Ramsov testing time against Benji Hatsugani. In terms of the tail of the tape, just a centimetre that separated them in terms of overall height and leg length, though. Tony Aziri in his favour. Nice start, though, from Ramsov. Fires in that front leg. And they start where they left off in that grand slam. A battle of the crescent kicks in the clinch. Love it. Absolutely love it. Sometimes I wish I could borrow their legs just for just for a couple of fights and give it back to him when I'm done. It's just amazing. They're just so flexible with it as well. And so efficient and effective. Yeah, as you say, that effectiveness paying off. Popping one onto the body straight away. Maxim Ramsov. Good back leg turn the kick there from the Aziri. Ganjo giving good strong refereeing. No intent to kick behind that. Ramsov takes it. Shoulder strength there from Milan. Just get the get the arm up there just in time. Absolutely, it's, it's the it, we call it the minimal evasion almost. You know, just pulling it up just to the point where they can get a leg as high as that. And it, it, you know, it, and you, you've got to do that in this situation here. Yeah, you have to because they can easily get the leg round uh, in, in any angle. As you say, get the round in any angle. Plays of the day goes to you. Minimal evasion. I love that. We do. I'm still on that. You can steal my jokes. I'm still your <laughs> expert analysis. Halfway through, two points of a difference. Another back into the body there. Scores it straight away. Oh, amazing, amazing shot. Really clever by Milan there. Oh, this pain off the back kick, generating at least the gam jump here against the Russian. Couple against him now. That's it to a one point game. 40 seconds left in an engrossing first round. And the scores from both men. I don't know how that did not score. I think we heard that yeah, all the way. Yeah, pop off it, yeah. Likewise, a little punch there from the man in blue. The the man having all the own way in this one, as you would expect. Fresh, They're going for it in this first round. Change of stance, trying to draw in the back leg, deciding to go back again. Ramsov. 10 seconds or so in this first round. It's been a good one around the corner from Milan Beji Hachigani. They will go back to the respective corner. Big punch there. Oh. Plus the headshot on either side. Oh, yes, a team. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Bring back the recap because we need to see this. This is amazing. Amazing. It's, it's, it's just so simple. Didn't I tell you before about the minimal invasion? You did. That shoulder does not push up. You just might just get touched. It's an electronic system. All you need is just a small touch. And, you, and sometimes it scores, and sometimes, you know, the heavy shots don't go on. But in this occasion, it was just effective right there. And you know what? I think Mila just switched off there just for a second. And that is, that is what just cost him. A great, beautiful shot there to get him back on. On point, but it was just amazing, amazing how if you switch up just for a second, you can just easily, easily get scored on. And talk about getting scored on, well done to the video of a few people in the truck and the highlights there. There's also three head kicks back to back there in that one exchange. They're both so good in that close distance, especially even in the clinch. They're very supple and very flexible to get their legs around at any angle. So you got to be very, very aware of that. Awareness the watch word. 20 points on the board. Equal sheer chop in the corner from Maxim Ramsov. Unfortunate not to land that one. There's a little bit of holding in the inside from Milad Beji Hachigani. Gets away with it on the blind side of the ref. Pull it off the shot. Both of them are landing bombs and just smiling at each other. Like, come on, then bring it on. Oh, great, great shot, great shot. But well, Maxi right there, giving it back as well. Oh, this is amazing. I told you, we need popcorn to watch this game. But you wouldn't have time to eat it. This is this is a movie right there. I would definitely get that popcorn down in six minutes. <laughs> in fact, now that I've thought of who I'm talking to, I would agree with that one. But meet and drink for Meiji Benji Hatsugani pops another one to the body. The momentum ebbing and flowing here, a one-point game. Deep into the second round, also close with that chop kick. 
I am at the edge of my seat right here. And you've picked up a leg injury, so just you take know. it easy. <laughs> the adrenaline is kicking in. Speaking of kicking in, smacks that one into the head there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. What a match up this one is. 45 in the second. 30 points share. I had to add that up there. I think it was 17 plus 13 points. Couldn't get there. The lion's share is going to the man from Azerbaijan. The battler from Baku landed that beautiful headshot. And that's made the difference half a minute to go. Jump in reverse around the corner. the gap, Jones. Wow. Yeah, he has to, he has to acknowledge it. It was an amazing shot, great setup. As you mentioned, the push, it came from the other side this time, Feji Hachigani. There was 10 points each when we started this second round. The quickly times have changed. The big reverse reverses the scores on the board. And Maxi Bradshaw makes a testing kick as well. <laughs> textbook stuff. Absolute textbook. Just almost. He knew that he knew he was coming at him. He just literally picked him up. And this is what you do in this situation then. When you come to a, a situation where you are both just waiting and sometimes if you're not ready, you just get picked up very quickly. And Mina knows that he had his arms down, he didn't have his guard up, body arm was wide open, and he just picked him up so easily and that's, and that's what cost him right there. Great shot by Maxim right there. Just getting, getting his foot on the head guard. Amazing encounter by Milan. And again, great shot. Amazing, amazing shot for a four pointer. And, and it, it's, it's just both of them attacking, counter attacking. Both of them are setting each other up, you know, uh, literally trying to call out what he's going to do before he gives him um, a counter back. And, and this, 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 is a, this, is, this is absolutely amazing to watch. And it's a pleasure to share it with you. Graham Machoke giving us the expert analysis in this one. Maxine Hamsov, what has he made of? He's got to come back against a top class fighter. We've seen him extend his lead before. The champion that he is, has he got the tenacity to dig this one out here? 28 to 13 down. Big battle, good game for Benji. Once again, the headshots flying all over the place. High scoring, high intensity. Taekwondo at its best here. And the thing is now, Maxim, he's opening up. He's opening up to Mila there. Mila's aware of that. So he's just he's just going to be subtle now. He's going to pick him up when he can. And that is the problem right here. When you when you know you're going to open up because you're behind points, you go, you got to go at your opponent. you got to give him everything. It's almost like throwing the kitchen sink at your opponent right there. And that is what he's doing. He's got no choice but to do that. But at the same time, you're vulnerable at the same time because you're open. You're not, you're, not, you're not thinking about, you know, giving your body away. And you just open to any shots of the moment. So he needs to be very careful because Milad is very good at just lifting his leg up in any angle. Ooh. You see lifting his leg up on the inside. The referee happy to let that one float. 35 20. It's a basketball score here. Dan John will be given this time. No video replay card in evidence. They're going to let this run. And Maxim Ramsov has a minute in which to keep this momentum going. He's slowly clawing himself back into this one. But the big man from Baku closing down. Running down the clock as well. Breathing heavily now, the young Russian. Has he got the energy to sustain it? Just messing with that chop pick over the shoulder. It is, it is there. It's just, it's just, it's just the, the fact of like you know the leg is coming and and, it, and it's kind of telepathic. I'm, I'm coming. I'm gonna put it there if you're not ready. It might just touch your head guard. And you just gotta really just, just lift up the shoulder just a little bit, just to just get a leg away and not get onto that head guard. You mentioned that minimal aggression, the use of the shoulders. But he's been holding shoulders about the rest of the hands off. A late chip and charge from the Russian big punch from Benji Hatsugani as he punctuates what's been a perfect performance. Landed a little bit high, he's going to give a little high five, which kills some time on the clock as well, which is more than useful. 20 to go, grab of the leg there from the Russian. Which way is this going to go? Good referee from Paul Timms, spots it, catches it, as Maxim Ramsov tries to catch his breath. And it's been breathless stuff here. 12 points of a difference, 20 seconds to go. He's going he's gonna to open up now, he's going to go at him. And this is where you, you mostly are vulnerable in this situation here. But we know Maxim is not one to give up, he's going to go for it. Go for that, he tries to put it on the 
inside 10 point gap, four seconds left. What a matchup we've seen in this men's welterweight final. Maxim Hartel says, okay, enough is enough. Great respect for both men. Yeah, on his feet clapping, as is the entire arena. Wonderful matchup and a wonderful win. Milan Beji, Machigani, super stuff. And a little bit of football keep you up is with the head guard as well. Yeah, if anything, he's, I think that's the best I've ever seen from Absolutely, him. I totally, I totally, him. I totally agree. You know, a better opponent, he's prolific, who's also dangerous, and he's been and he's been and he's been holding it down for the minus 80 for quite some time. And for me to just to come back in into the into the game and just show them, you know what, I, I, I'm back now. I'm at my best, and I'm, and this is what I can do against such players, as you say, prolific and indeed terrific action. And in some sense. Look at that. The oh, chop picks wow. flying in as we see the highlights, but Milad basically did to Maxim what Maxim does to everyone else. Yeah, absolutely. The both are good at that. He's like, here you go, you done it to me, I'll give it back to you. But hang on a minute, I'll give you a second one again. Back again. <laughs> oh wow, wow. An absolute treat here at the Taekwondo in Chiba. What a way to finish. Three of the best days of the Grand Prix that I can remember. Amazing game, amazing fight between two two fighters. It is just it's just amazing to just be in such position to watch this so close up as well. Um, I, I'm I'm I'm, lo I'm lost for word right now. I don't know I don't know about you, but I just feel like my day has been fulfilled right here. It's probably sad to say some people are like really, but it has been fulfilled right here. I'm with you and I'm glad you said it because I'm equally chuffed to have this opportunity to share it just with yourself. Oh, it's been amazing, it's been a pleasure, John, absolute pleasure. Well, if you can't enjoy that, don't watch the Taekwondo, give it up, turn it over, hand back your black belt. <laughs> because that is really a super final. Now, what I love about Maxime is he's a player